There's a new technology that has the power to revolutionize how you, businesses, and the world interact. You've probably heard of it. It's called blockchain. But what is it? How does it work? How does it affect you? Hearing the word blockchain is comparable to hearing the word internet in the early 90s. It seemed elusive, like something that wasn't going to impact your daily life. But here we are, more than 20 years later. Think about how the internet has transformed businesses, commerce, communication, even music and video. And that's not even touching on how the internet has affected you. We all carry the internet in our pocket. We can transfer money at the touch of a button, check the weather, get directions, and even have food delivered to our door. The next technology to have that kind of impact isn't some of the buzzwords you hear. It's not big data. It's not artificial intelligence. It's not even social media. It's blockchain. Now, let's discuss the vast promise blockchain has for every business, every society, and for everyone listening today. And let's begin with an example we are all familiar with. When you attach a file, a Word document, an Excel sheet, a PDF to an email, you aren't sending an original. You are actually sending the recipient a copy. And that's a great way to move information around. But it's not so great when it comes to things like money, stocks and bonds, music, loyalty points, intellectual property, tickets to a game or concert, then, sending a copy is suddenly a very bad idea. Let's look at an example. If I send you tickets to a concert, it's important that I don't send you a copy. You now own the original asset, and I can no longer use or sell those tickets. Similarly, if I send you $100, it's important that I still don't own the $100 or have the ability to send it to anyone else. Both of these examples illustrate a double spend problem, and those can be eliminated with blockchain. So now, in this exciting time in history, every kind of asset from tickets to money to music can be stored, moved, exchanged, and transacted without an intermediary. People everywhere can transact peer-to-peer -peer and trust each other by using collaboration and cryptography. How did we get here to this place of trust and collaboration? It began when Satoshi Nakamoto, whose true identity is still unknown, released a white paper in 2008 introducing a purely peer-to-peer -peer version of electronic cash known as Bitcoin. It is here that blockchain technology made its debut. Even today, people believe Bitcoin and blockchain are one and the same. They are not. Bitcoin and other alternative currencies utilize blockchain technology. While an important one, Bitcoin is only one use case for blockchain. Blockchain allows people to exchange assets and perform transactions without a third party. Imagine a world where you don't need intermediaries. While traditionally we have needed central authorities to trust one another and fulfill contracts, blockchain makes it possible to have our peers guarantee that for us. But how? Assets like we've discussed are no longer stored in a central place, but distributed across a global ledger using the highest level of cryptography. When a transaction is conducted, it's posted across tens of thousands of computers around the globe. These transactions are recorded as blocks. Let's imagine a sheet of paper that has 25 lines. When a sheet is filled up with 25 transactions, the block is validated via group consensus. Once the page has been validated, 